If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. I'm Quindell Evans, BluePoetry.com, and welcome to the Blue Poetry Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. My affirmation for today is, joy and pain is like sunshine and rain. When they're together, they create the most beautiful thing, like a sun shower. You feel me them? One more time. Joy and pain is like sunshine and rain. When they're together, they create the most beautiful thing, like a sun shower. And this is about acceptance, allowing and reflecting. Accept the fact that joy and pain exist together. Allow joy to flow through pain. Allow pain to also motivate your joy. You feel me? And then reflect these, you know? You ever seen like a child who's upset or crying, and then you tickle them and then all of a sudden it's good mood? You know, that's like joy and pain existing together. That's the most beautiful thing. You know, you could, you know, you could watch a newborn baby go from crying to laughter in a second, you know? Um, maybe not necessarily a newborn, but maybe if you could watch a baby cry and laugh in the same moment, and those be the most beautiful moments when we can accept, allow, and reflect joy and pain. You feel me? So, what I want to say is like this. I was having a discussion with someone yesterday, actually, and we were talking about. You know, knowledge and knowing your past, and knowing where you come from and stuff like that. And I, I was, you know, every every time I got the chance to reflect, you know, to, to give my perspective of, of what he was saying, I would say, you're right. You're right. Whether I agree with it or not, it's just you're right. And the reason I say that is because you all, you all right. You know, like everybody's right in their own perspective. Through their eyes, you're always right. You feel me? So even when you're doing, even when you're doing wrong, and you know you're doing wrong, you think that it's right to do wrong in that moment. You know, so like you're always right. You know, and whatever is gonna take you to where you want to be is right for you. You know, so someone might need. Someone might need these amount of tools, these specific tools to navigate through life. And these same tools given to the next person, even in the same predicament, may not be what he needs. You know, so you're always right. So when it comes to joy and pain, like, they always right. It's going to be time where you're going to feel pain. It's not like, don't feel pain. This is how you can escape pain live life pain free that's not real we got to accept that it is a part of life we're going to ex experience it we're going to feel it many times through our life it's going to be painful scenarios it's going to be painful situations it's going to be painful things that happen to us you know pain in our physical body <clears throat> might be mentally and mentally suffering from something or emotionally suffering from something you know so there's all different types of pain, and that is a part of life, naturally. That's a part of nature, you know? Things, it's going to be, it's going to be pain, you know? And when we accept that, we allow it, you know, when we accept pain, we allow pain to transfer it to joy. We accept pain, we allow pain to seize. We allow pain to go away. We allow pain to to no longer affect us as much. So accepting pain leads to joy. You know, like accepting it. You know, a lot of times what we do is suppress pain. We try to run away from it, try to be pain-free, try not to feel. And then we have so many different types of people that be like, and I don't love emotional people, and I don't want to be around 
to you know, people's too emotional and if you're emotional don't be around me stuff like that like negatives you need both sides of the spectrum so you're gonna be time when you need to just express that pain in order to get it out otherwise you're suppressing it and it's gonna come out in more toxic or harmful ways in the future accepting pain you know and there's been plenty of times me personally I've suppressed pain you know for example when someone passed in my life a few years ago someone passed away I remember like just trying to just be tough in the moment you know and you know trying to be tough in the moment and trying to like act like it's all good like I'm good da, 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 whatever even though I just seen the body you feel me it's like you know seeing a lifeless body and I'm trying to act like it's all good. Like, I'm just go about my night regular, unaffected. Like, I was uh, literally bugging because I was suppressing it. I was literally, like, bugging. Like, I didn't, I never knew, you know, you know, like, I never knew that is real, like, too. <laughs> I never knew it, it's that real. You know, now I understand what people go through. When they are like, when they are like, um, they have mental health issues, you know, like that was pretty much, I was pretty much experiencing a mental health issue in that moment. I remember like literally just after I seen the body, and I was we was going, I was going to the crib, chilling my friends, we was going to chill, smoking weed and write poetry, and. I remember, you know, like, acting like, yeah, we good, we're going to go, go along with what we're doing. Like, that didn't just alter my whole vibration. Like, I wasn't affected. I was trying to still, like, go with the, go with my plans. Like, I plan to go chill, smoke with my friends, write some poetry. And I tried. And we get upstairs, and we're smoking, and we're writing. And I used to play this, I guess you could say play. I used to do this activity writing activity with my friends where we all say a word and then the person's word the, you know like if it's five of us in the room we all say a word and our word we begin our poem with it and we end with the person next to his word and we go around you know everyone begins with their word and ends with the next person's word so we kind of allow the other person to segue off our word so we was doing that activity and I remember, like, when we, you know, we're writing, smoking. And I remember, like, during my writing activity, like, black blinking out. Like, it was just, just, you know, in the moment, I don't know that, though. But then when I came out, I realized, like, yeah, I was just bugging. You feel me? Like, I was just bugging because I was suppressing the pain of just experiencing that death, you know? And, like... My friends was like, yo, you alright, you alright? You know, like, they was like, yo, you was just, like, kept saying, yo, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead. And I'm just like, I didn't even know that. Like, I didn't even, you know, like, I didn't know, like, like, I didn't know. Because I still don't remember actually saying that or anything. But in the moment, I was, because I was suppressing it and was just trying to chill and act like everything was cool, it, it had to come out. And that's how it came out, is because I wasn't even... It wasn't expressing it, you feel me? So it, it was coming out of me like, you know, I had to black out because it had to come out. And what I ended up doing to express myself was I began to talk to my mother, talk to certain people about it. Um, I made some poems about it. You know, I made keychains with her picture on it, whatever. You know, I like to do acronyms and stuff like that. So I made an acronym of her name and a picture, gave it to her family members, you know, her daughters and sons. And, you know, I gave it to people that I felt would, that I felt was it would allow me to feel like I can be at peace after I give it to them. And also a funeral, too. Like, funeral, you know, is it, definitely a beautiful thing. Like, it's a painful experience that someone has passed, but in the funeral, I don't know how everybody funeral is, but, you know, funerals, and, you know, 
like the Black Freedom Roots is like Liddy. Like we turn up, we singing, we dancing, we crying, we hugging, we clapping. You know, for the most part, what I seen Black Freedom Roots, I've been to, we turning up at them joints. So it'd be a very beautiful event that stems from, you know, a painful experience of losing someone, someone passing away. So that is joy and pain is this and together. It's the funeral, you know, and that that joy of me creating, I created poetry. I was able to, you know, express myself poetically using my talents. That's my joy. My joy is writing music, poetry, raps. That's my joy. It makes me feel good when I'm performing. I was able to do that through this painful experience of death, you know, and I sang at this person's funeral, and that was like the most uplifting experience. Literally, like, and I realized the importance of funerals after that, like, more. You know, I realized how important funerals are because it really allows us to accept, you know, it allows us to accept the pain, accept the pain of the person being gone, and accepting that allows us to go on without being mentally disturbed, you know? And then we get to express it, like how I'm doing now, in a more peaceful manner. I don't have to be like, oh, she's dead, she's dead, she's dead, like bugging, not even knowing that I'm doing that. And people, we in the site when we write it, and they like, yeah, you good? Like, snap me out of it. They wake me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, like, tap me, like, oh, you good? Bro, like, you bugging right now. And I'm just like, oh, no, I don't, I don't even know. Because we can suppress pain. People suppress pain from past traumas. Some people have been touched, you know, sexually abused. Some people have been physically abused. Some people was in domestic violent homes and toxic families, you know, just, you know, just uh, broken homes and, you know, single parent homes and stepfathers they don't like and stepmothers they don't like and they don't never talk to their mother. They don't know their mother. They don't. No, they parents at all, literally, like, they was an orphan or a foster kid or their mother is a prostitute or their mother, their father is in jail all the time and, you know, like, <clears throat> it, you know, it can be bullied in school and, you know, like, and they never express it, they never reflect on it and they suppress it and then get older and then it comes out in different ways, you know? So many ways that, so many things, so many painful things that we hold in as people and we don't express and it just literally follows us. Like Erica Badu got the song Bag Lady because we be carrying these bags from the past and we don't never let it go. We hold on to these through our adulthood and now we have our inner child that never been raised so that, that part of us that is immature, whether it's some some type of pain, that part that part of that pain that's never been expressed is reflected as an immature child. So we grow up reflecting these reflecting, you know, we grow up expressing these immaturities. You know, we are a reflection of these immaturities and there are ways that we can deal with those things. And that is by accepting pain and joy, um, you know? And through it will come the joy when we express it, when we reflect on it. And it's, there's so many people, you know, there's CEOs of companies right now, there's rich people right now, there's millionaires, there's so many people in the world who haven't dealt with certain things from the past and it doesn't stop you from being successful, but it just can hinder a certain area in your life. And you will, it will follow you and you'll have to deal with it one day or never deal with it. But it will just be that flaw, you know, like it will just be that flaw that you just have, you know. And that's okay. It's just, this is just the affirmation for me to realize my flaws need to help me accept joy and pain, to help me allow joy and pain to, to allow joy and pain to, to be expressed in my life. Like, 
It's okay to, to have pain sometimes. It's okay to not like some things. It's okay to feel bad. It's okay to be unhappy sometimes. And when I realize that, it's okay. And then I'm more comfortable expressing it. A lot of times we don't realize, like, it's okay. Like, you know, like, literally. Like, that's one of my lines, too. I like to be like, it's okay. Like, you know, like, it's okay. You know, it's okay. A lot of times when we're, when we're, when we, you know, may have made a mistake or felt like made a mistake. It probably wasn't a mistake, but because we are just so, we're immature in that area, once again, of giving ourselves credit or immature of accepting ourselves or immature of, of just giving our, you know, like, I don't know, just, just taking it easy on ourselves. We're immature in these areas and we're so hard on ourselves. We're mature in that. Like, we know how to be hard on ourselves so much that, like, we can do something that may be okay in the moment and we enjoy it or we, you know, it's just something, excuse me, it may actually be a mistake too, but in the moment, you know, is when it matters. The next day or two days later, you don't have to keep putting yourself down. You can focus on joy, focus on how we want to feel, focus on what we want. And when we are able to focus on what we want, we can allow our pain to subside. Excuse me one second. We can allow our pain to subside whenever we accept the pain and accept that we want joy too. Like, I want to be joyous, you know? And that's why it's such a beautiful thing because it's both sides of the coin. It's like, you know how, you know, we all know the cliche like, you know, if it wasn't for the pain, and how could you appreciate the joy? If it wasn't for the good, you know, it wasn't for the bad, how could you appreciate the good, you know, it wasn't for the, you know, so like, yes, that's true. But also, they exist together. Like, they exist together. You know? And it's, it's important for us to appreciate everything. And that's what I feel ultimately I need to work on, is just appreciating everything literally because sometimes I'm just not accepting certain things that I know I don't feel like accepting like I oh I like to change I like to evolve I like difference I like to grow I like to 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 evolve I like to develop and I think that immaturity in me of not giving myself credit holds me back from celebrating some things. You know, I want to grow so much. I want so many different things that it's like I, it's like I put, you know, it's like I'm hard on myself on any little moment of, of stagnant. So this is affirmation for me to realize you know I write these affirmations for me this is not me trying to preach to you telling you you need to appreciate joy and pain this I wrote this affirmation a year ago wow that's funny I wrote this affirmation last year um like December 5th and today is December 7th <laughs> so like this is these are affirmations I write to kind of like Yo, like, and, and mo most of these affirmations are written because of a specific experience I may have experienced, a specific event that I may have experienced, a specific occasion, or specific thing. Like, it's, it's, I'm talking about something I need to heal from. I'm talking about something I have experienced, something I want to, some I want to grow in, you know, an area in life I want to grow in. So, you know, these affirmations. I'm not me trying to preach to you. This is like really something I want to work on, you know? And I appreciate the opportunity to even be reflecting on these things a year later because it shows how much I have improved and how much I want to improve and how much 
I need to give myself credit sometimes and not be so hard on myself. And that's the ultimate, like, purpose. And me writing these affirmations is I need to uplift myself, you know, like, literally. So, like, and that's the joy. I want to feel joy. You know, nobody wants to feel pain. But actually, some I'm not going to say nobody, but I'm sure there's people all who, like, you know, like, I want to put myself through whatever, so the world doesn't have to put me through it, you know, and that's okay, everything is right, it's all right, so like when we understand that everything is all right, then we can, we can flow, you know, I heard a saying called form follows function, you gotta function properly and everything else will follow, you know, everything else will form, the form will follow when we function properly. So if we're functioning from a place of gratitude, appreciating the pain, appreciating the joy, appreciating whatever we're experiencing the moment, then the form will follow. You know, and appreciation doesn't mean like, oh, appreciate that someone is dead, but appreciate the feeling that you're feeling, meaning accept it. Appreciation is acceptance. That's how I feel. Appreciation is acceptance. You know, appreciate the feeling that you're feeling. Ex accept this feeling of hurt that you're feeling in this moment and express it so you're not like, oh my God, she's dead bugging to your friends. So you're not going through mental changes, suppressing it and then taking it out on other people. You know, I don't know how people do different things. Maybe you're not like, oh, she's dead, she's dead. Maybe you want to go beat up somebody. Or maybe you want to curse somebody out. Maybe you want to break up with the person you're with because you want to be alone and maybe you don't want to talk to nobody. You know, maybe, you, you know, like, I, I try to just ignore it and just chill with my friends and act like it was all good, like I was okay. But I wasn't. Some people was like, I want to be alone. I'm not okay. And that might be what you need in the moment. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying, accept it. Whatever you need, whatever you got to accept it, accept it. You know? And I just, <laughs> right? I don't know. I just had a flash just now, like a dream. A dream I had. I don't know. I just had to say that. It's just just came I'm just like having flashes of dreams I've been remembering my dreams a lot lately and they've been really they're really interesting um so yeah but with that being said joy and pain is like sunshine and rain when they're together they're the most they create the most beautiful thing joy and pain is like sunshine and rain when they're together they create the most beautiful thing like a sun shower. I'm Quinda Levens, bluepoetry.com. If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. That's the case. Let me know if you was feeling it. Let's go.